A warning for parents about what their teens could... There are more vape pens. There is a perceived harmlessness with this. E-cigarettes. As defined on Wikipedia, it is a handheld electronic device that simulates smoking. It works by heating a liquid to generate an aerosol, commonly known as vapour, which is then inhaled by the user. There are about 113 chemicals that have been identified in e-cigarettes, none of which we should be inhaling. E-cigarettes come in many shapes and sizes. All you have to do is pop flavoured juice into the tank and inhale the vapour that it creates. It's so simple that it doesn't feel like it's any more harmful than eating candy. We hear of chemicals that might harm the body. Outwardly, we smell the often yummy flavour. But inwardly, we can't see what happens inside our body and perhaps only suffer the consequences over time. To better understand what goes into vape liquid, I spoke to the director of the Cigarette Testing Lab at HSA. These are the three chemicals that is actually found in uh, e-cigarette. The first one is nicotine, which causes addiction. It will affect the nervous system. The second one is a formaldehyde, which is a chemical that is used in embalming solution. It will affect the respiratory system. And the third one will be benzene. If you inhale benzene a lot, it will lead to cancer. The ingredient that is actually used in formulating e-juice includes uh, vegetable glycerin, which is also named as glycerol. They are not harmful when you eat them, but by heating glycerol, you will produce formaldehyde and other toxic chemicals, and this will cause harm to your lung. There's a chemical that is actually found in all flavours, which is diacetyl. Diacetyl actually is a chemical that is very harmful to the lungs and prolonged exposure to this chemical will lead to a situation where it's called popcorn lungs. So what is popcorn lungs exactly? The name came from what happened over a decade ago in the popcorn factory. Back then, diacetyl, which has a buttery flavour, was one of the ingredients used to flavour popcorn. This chemical went inhaled, caused air passages to get constricted and workers started wheezing. This was linked to deaths and hundreds of cases of lung disease among the factory workers. Now this begs the question, why are cigarettes legal while e-cigarettes aren't? In Singapore, there has never been a complete ban on cigarettes, as smokers need time and support to quit. There are also concerns that banning of cigarettes can give rise to black markets and increase the flow of smuggled cigarettes into Singapore. Nonetheless, there have been efforts taken in Singapore to encourage people to kick the habit. And it's getting harder and harder for smokers to even take a puff like this. And this. As recent as November 2018, a bill was passed for the legal age of smoking to be progressively increased to 21 years of age by the year 2021. As the country makes smoking less accessible, what are the other implications of legalizing e-cigarettes at this point? Well, gateway drug. A systematic review of nine studies involving more than 17,000 youths in the United States found that e-cigarette users were three times more likely to become cigarette smokers compared to non-users. Other studies in Canada, England, Scotland and Poland similarly support this gateway effect. It seems that there are varied opinions on vaping, whether it's the healthy option or whether it should stay banned. But without long-term studies on the effects of e-cigarettes, we may want to take a more cautious approach. What do you think?